Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be installing a wig from Curly Me Collection. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I plucked, prepped the wig, and installed it. The wig that I received is a 13 by 4, 26 inch, 250% density frontal wig. This is how the wig looks like after I bleached and customized it. Continue watching to see the next steps on how I did this. So this is what the wig looks like after it's been bleached. And the first thing that I'm going to do is take out all the baby hairs that I'll be using to style it on my client. After you've taken out all the baby hairs that you'll be using, the next step would be is to pull out all the hairs that are pre-plucked already. Now I'm going to use my sclancher tweezer and pluck a natural hairline. When you're plucking the hairline, you want to make sure not to pluck in the same area to avoid balding on the hairline and also making a hole in the lace. As you guys can see, the hair is pulling out pretty easy on this wig, so I did move around quickly when I was plucking the hairline. The next clip will show you guys the real speed of me actually plucking the hairline. On a natural hairline, this part of the hair is a bit thinner than all the other parts of the hairline, so I am plucking this part a little bit more to make it thinner than all the other parts.
after you finish plucking your second layer you're gonna take all the hair that you pulled out in the beginning and push it back to see if your wig needs more plucking some wigs may need more plucking than other wigs but for this wig all I needed was two layers of plucking behind the hairline so after I did all that I'm gonna take out another very thin layer at the very beginning of the hairline where the edges is and then pluck behind that once more just to make it more natural Once you've done that step, the plucking of the hairline is done and you should have a natural hairline. The little fines here that you took out at the front, you can push that back and your hairline will be complete. Now I'm going to move on to hot combing the hairline to prep it for install. I blow dry the wig until it was dry and now I'm going to use my hot comb and wax stick to hot comb the hairline in place. The first thing that I'm going to do is take a layer of hair off from the back of the front tool to cover all the tracks. Now I'm using the hot comb to lay all the baby hairs flat on the wig. After I've laid all the baby hairs flat, I'm going to use a wax stick, apply it to the hairline, and comb all the hairs in place. The hairstyle that I'll be doing in this video is a free part flip over method. So I didn't mold any part in place. I left it just how it is so my client can move it to her liking. This is the outcome of the customization for this install. Let me know if you guys have any questions and now I'm gonna get started with the install process. I already placed the ball cap on my client's head, so when the glue is completely dried, I will be using number 15 in Ruby Kiss Green Foundation. Once you've applied all the makeup that you need, you can cut all the cap off that you won't be using.
this is what the wig looks like on my client's head. I already applied the same makeup that I used on the ball cap inside of the wig. So now I'm going to use the same makeup again and make a dotted line across the hairline so I can know where to apply the glue. Once you've made the dotted line, you can lift the wig up and clean off the area where you'll be applying the glue before applying your first layer of glue. As you guys can see, all the baby hairs that I took out when I was customizing the wig do match up with my client's hairline. If it doesn't end up matching up with your client's hairline, you can always move the baby hairs around. And it'll most likely be the sideburns that you take out. So you can just pull hair down or up and pluck any hair out that you'll be needing to make it look more natural. Even though the wig is already glued down, you can still see the white line from the cap underneath the wig. 
so after i cut off all the lace i will be applying makeup on top of the lace and melting it with my even spray to get rid of the white line For the baby hairs on this install, I will be doing some swirls. So for the two side burns and the middle baby hair, I did cut it a little bit longer towards the end so it can be a full swirl. To soothe the baby hairs, I am using God to be glue gel and cream of nature mousse. Once you've styled all the baby hairs, you can apply about six wrap strips on top to let the baby hairs dry.
now that the baby hairs are completely dried i'm going to use my bio silk and apply it to the hairline before hot combing This is what the baby hairs look like after they have been fluffed out. But since my client is going on vacation, we did use some got to be glue gel to keep the baby hairs down so they can last longer.
this is the end of the video continue watching for more clips of the finished look and comment below if you guys have any questions i hope you guys enjoyed watching